First Rising Nigeria Singa Chike has apologized to Eastern Nigerians after he said it is primitive to travel to the East for Christmas. Again, Chike said it is primitive to travel to the East for Christmas. Recall we earlier reported that the singer advised people who hail from the eastern part of Nigeria to stop traveling home for Christmas as it is a primitive behavior. And then it is a now deleted tweet which he shared on his official Twitter handle on Monday, which was yesterday. The singer said um, that it is unsafe to, tra to travel during the festive season. Mm -hmm. His tweet was made, in rea was made in reaction to people who lost their lives while traveling to and fro from their homes for Christmas celebration. Put, in, put that in mind. However, the upcoming artist has now tendered an apology to the Eastern Nigerians over his insensitive tweet. According to him, he was controlled by his emotions while making his earlier tweet after two of his friends who traveled for Christmas died in a car accident while returning back to the city. He wrote, and I quote, I believe my own, my now deleted tweet was misunderstood as it was an emotional one. This morning, two friends died in a road trip back from the village. I think the roads are too risky for everyone to be headed home and back. If you have been hurt, I sincerely apologize. True. The reason oh, I can say is that I'm glad it was an evil man that said this. Mm -hmm. Because if it was a Yoruba person or someone that was not from the East, it would have become a tribal, a tribal beef. But um, your takes. Okay. Um, regardless of what he said, it made sense. But regardless of the word primitive, I still feel he should have made his point across with a better word. Mm. Well, I agree with him. We all know how crazy um, the festive period can be with the high level of insecurity and accidents that happen in some parts of Nigeria. It's not uncommon. So I feel like we, uh, even with the COVID-19 that is out there, the pandemic is still there. So why do, must all of us go to the village at the same time i agree with what he said we is not by for is it necessary for you to go to the village if not why don't you just stay in lagos there's so mm. many things you should consider before traveling well, well yeah sorry. i disagree let me, mm -hmm. let me just um i think um agreeing with what he said and teaching grown people how to do things now that's super wrong you can't tell anybody how to do things i've in my mm -hmm. you know few years on earth i've realized that um Igbo people or the people from the mm -hmm. East are the most patriotic tribe. They do not miss going home for Christmas for whatever. Now, nobody is saying, look, there are people coming from England, mm. people coming from America for Christmas. Are they primitive? They just miss home. And I think it is part of losing our culture, not going home. Because I remember growing up, your parents will tell you, ah, let's go to the village, even if it's for a day or two. You don't find that anymore. Oh, Hold up. Okay. And there are people who have actually stayed consistent with that, who have gone. I don't think it's right. You have, apart from the word primitive, say that um, it's not everybody that should try. Don't tell people what to do. If being at home is what makes mm -hmm. me feel at home during Christmas, by all means, I will definitely go. What about the dangers that's around? The dangers that are around people coming from England that have COVID 19. How about that? And then you see. Them and you're, and you're, you're in it, people. People I told who you just travel over from the, the weekend, mainland to know, the island. Thank you. I was just going to give you a typical example. I know two people that died over the weekend. Hmm. They didn't travel. Hmm. They just went to the party. Yeah. And they were coming home and the things just... Are you see, when you're sitting right here, it's a risk every day. Every so day. You're coming across to tell people that... Uh, I think the whole the whole tone of the text was, was awful. And even and, I'm, I'm sorry, even his comeback made it worse for me. The fact that somebody died is the mm -hmm. reason why you tweeted that made it worse. Because I'm that's how you even tweet about somebody that has died. Like, my friends have died. I'll now go to Twitter and say, yeah. primitive behavior. Like, nah, we think you know, nah. eh, basically. Yeah, like, you guys don't listen. <laughs> learn. Really learn. Somebody that has died? Are you kidding? Right. It's We're rude. It's really culture, insensitive. I, have, I absolutely agree with the fair, which is a rare thing. <laughs> I absolutely, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely agree with you for a hundred percent. First of all, culture is really important, and just mm -hmm. because it's not important to some people doesn't mean that that's a good thing. I think it's important for people to go home, and the only time you can go home, be it's realistic, the is the festive season because there is but no work. There's no other. There's no other time for them to go. Members, you can cousin, go any you other time. You have to make. When it will you oh, go? Okay. So when are you, you, you going to take a leave from work to say I'm going to the village? When will some you go? You do that. Oh, some people. Mm. Yeah, but okay, or, 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 but okay, if I, it's even possible okay. for, for, for them to do mm -hmm. that. And, and yes, not everybody oh, goes couples. home. But can you admit that, they, that the majority of people, most people, 
would only get the time to go home during the Christmas period. Um, Especially yeah. when their mm -hmm. families are around, when school is off, when all the kids are back from, from, from wherever they've gone to for work. This is a time where everybody in the entire family is usually home. home. You don't get that in any other, in any other season as I'm, much. Am I allowed mm. to be selfish? Mm. Has anyone seen the roads? The roads are so free. Can they stay in the village? I don't, I don't know why we're all coming to this. Yeah. I mean, I would have liked it if he, if he emphasized <laughs> on the way you go to the village. Does everyone need to do use road trip if they can afford a flight? Mm -hmm. I think not. I think take the ro take the flight, right? It's it's it's, it's much safer. Or make sure you have security. No, you or like take take safer. it is mm -hmm. much safer. Let's be honest. I mean, even going to Ghana, like I when I was schooling in Ghana, I know that it's much safer using a flight than using mm -hmm. um, road or whatever. But it's more expensive, ten but times, but twenty times more expensive. Cultures, well, we need um, you know the kids to all also understand the geographical parts of Nigeria. Do you understand? Mm. When you're going to your village, you're part like different states. Do you understand? Interstate, you're seeing things mm. that can never... See, there's some memories that are embedded in me. I can remember when I used to think trees mm -hmm. used to follow me from Lagos to the village. Mm. Do you understand? Because you just be looking out of the car, you just see... Yeah, I don't think he's even saying that it's a like... bad thing to go. He's talking about the safety, mm. which, no, is, which, is, which, is, which is important. Like, I get that it is okay. important, but his tone and the manner in which he said it was very off. And like if I said, you don't just what tell people to what to go. Is the government if we have good motorable roads in the western part of the world. And put security there. You know people are trips. traveling. Put mm -hmm. police people all over the road. Road trips and they like. Okay, I was listening to the radio this morning, mm -hmm. and the radio presenter practically laughed at the first thing we said. I think she, the question for the day was, "What are you going to do the whole day?" For those of you, because a lot of people are told the spirit, mm -hmm. and somebody said, "I just want to drive around all through." And she said. Brother, where did they drive go? <laughs> because think about it. The traffic situation won't let you. But people actually take road trips in other parts yeah. of the world. I can get in my car and be like, I want to drive for three hours straight. I'm not being scared of traffic. Mm -hmm. So I think what we should tackle is the root cause. So anyway, the sure. Anyway, Chike, Chike has apologized and we have mm -hmm. forgiven him. Let's remind you. Let's remind you of who Chike is away from this nonsense tweet.